Alright, hey guys, True Vampire here, and I am back with Magic Farm, and yeah, this, this is really cool. So, anyway, um, whoops, that's how you throw your shovel, yeah, don't do that. Apparently, I have to do this, and I'll get my stuff back, so, cool. But anyway, so... I found out how to make copper tools. It's so cool. Yay. So I'm going to grab that, the copper ingots. And I'm actually just, I'm going to leave everything else except the books. I'll grab the books. I'll throw them up there. And the egg and the sandstone. I'll throw them up there too come up here and I just want to grab as much food as I possibly can um I, can you make anything from barley right now I don't know so we'll leave that let's see I'm gonna take the wood the wood and the maybe not the saplings we'll leave the saplings I'll take the one, the tiger sapling. Okay, we'll take that. And we are going to go on an adventure to, ah, uh, stop that. Thank you. To make copper tools. Yeah. And I'm taking everything with me because I'm not going to be back here for a little bit. Before I go, I just want to grab a bunch of, of sand. Grab some sand. Yeah, sand. Yeah, so it's actually, it's like really, 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 really easy to get copper tools. It's so incredibly easy. I was like, wow, when I finally figured it all out. It was awesome. I, it blew my mind, quite honestly, how, how you get copper tools. So, let's grab. I, no, I want to hit that. Thank you. I want to grab that. I want to take that with me. And we are going to go. Um, I know it's a little, little laggy today. I think it's a little laggy because I'm processing a video. <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't, shouldn't play Feed the Beast Magic Farm and process a video at the same time. It makes things kind of laggy. But anyway. Ooh. A plum tree. Squirrel. I'm terrible. <laughs> I will admit it. We'll grab that. And let's continue on. Oh, hey. Interesting. So, let's. This, I'm doing like a terrible job here right now. Going on my adventure. So, we need to collect clay and sand and gravel. So those are the three items uh. that we need at the moment. And somewhere in here I have another gravestone and it has a boatload of gravel in it. Uh. But um, I don't remember where it was. I'm sure I'll find it. Any clay in here? No clay. Any at all? Any clay? Please? I don't see any clay. Usually there's clay near sand. We'll just swim along the river here and see if we can find some clay. So like I said, we're going to need a bunch, like a bunch of clay in order to get what we need. Is that clay or is that sand? Oh, that's clay. Oh, sweet. Alright, so we'll... we'll Um, can I reach it from here? No. How about over here? Maybe from here? Oh, there we go. Ah! Because it, it's annoying to dig underwater. Bye. Watch my... My bar there. Make sure I don't drown myself. Okay, there's some clay. How much is that? That is 40 pieces. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more. A lot more. Is this clay? No, what is this? 
salt ore. Oh, okay. And there's a chicken. And more is that more salt ore? So this must be salt water then. Like wow. That's that's cool. Salt water. Is that I think that's my cave over there that I was working in in the last episode. I think I'll go back there and we'll just build a little like a little place to stay in. Oh pay attention to your breath bar. No drowning. Um take this out. There we go. No, oh, this is a lot of clay. This is nice, alright. And some sand too. I think I still need some more sand. And then I should find my my death point because there's all that gravel in it. <laughs> yes. Thank you for that person for telling me. Cause I didn't know to check under my gravestones. <laughs> Silly me. Okay. Collect this up. I wanna collect that up. And now let's move on. Need to eat again. And okay, we have 64 pieces of clay at the moment. And how much how much sand? Well, 45 sand. Oh! How did I get poisoned? From you! No! No! Please, no! Oh! Phew! That was really close. Let's eat our strawberries. Okay. I'm going to go down here <laughs> into this little hole right here. Dig it a little bit more. And we can collect up some cobble. Oh, it's so slow with this pick. Oh, copper. Cool. We'll need that. We shall need some copper in order to make copper tools. You need copper. Another item we're going to have to go hunting for is aluminum, though, because we have to use, I think it's al aluminum brass is what you need to make, sort of make the tools, but anyway. So we'll need that. Did I bring torches? Do I have any torches? No, I do not have any torches. Oh well. There's light out here. So, where is my... Just gonna do right in here. And build a crafting table here. Real quick. Crafting table. Throw that right there for now. And build a door. Okay. So now I am over here. And I can build a chest to throw all my items in. That and that and that and that and that and that. Not that, we'll hold on to that. That. Not the clay, we'll hold on to that. Uh, the dirt, yeah. The wheat. The tigerwood tree. The f flint we might need. So the only thing that I need at the moment is, well, more, more cobble. 
and more sand. I actually have 52. So more of this too. Luckily there's tons here though, so I guess I don't have to worry about it. Is that? Yeah. There it's 164. Eat up so we can go outside and collect some more sand. And I need to, I should have grabbed my I, uh, um, well, yeah. Um, what am I thinking? Uh, coal. I should have grabbed some coal. I'll just kill this guy with my axe. Axe has come in handy for killing zombies. I've noticed it come in very handy for killing zombies. Okay. Uh. Oh, hello, little little zombie. You have what's wrong with you? Oh, you're coming back. Uh, you little zombie. Plague zombie. He keeps running away. He gets... He doesn't want to be my friend. Alright, so we have 64 of each. At least one stack of 64 of each. So I'm just going to come back down here. Close that in. And we'll put each stack of 64 in like this and we get grout and we have two stacks of 64 grout I don't know how much cooking this will do great now I have a zombie outside my door oh it's the little zombie <laughs> gotcha thanks alright so I'm probably I'm just gonna cut it for a second and then I will be back with <coughs> with um, all the ah, crap tin, aluminum, copper and stuff that I can find hopefully some coal so we can do some more cooking some better cooking because I can't see down there that's really dark and then I will be back. So, I am going to do that. All right, be right back. Okay, so I am back. Everything is cooked up. I haven't found any aluminum yet, so I still have to go hunting for some aluminum. But we'll go through this part right now. And I found, I found my other death point, so here's my tools. And if you notice the XP on the tools, the tools actually gain experience as you use them. So that's that's kind of cool, actually. I don't want to put that in there just yet. So we'll start with this, and we're going to make... Oops. The seared bricks, which become seared brick blocks. Should be more than just one. Okay. <laughs> There's 16 of them. And we'll put this up here and that's 32 and I should have enough sand and stuff yes to do whoops I'll turn them into grout first Get up there. and the grout and yeah there's enough to make some more so with the seared the seared bricks here and I turned them all into these blocks, which is okay. We're going to make a. Should we make it in here? Um, I'm thinking outside. Not. Oh, my meat's cooked, so I can cook this. Let's put that in there. 
I'll take some of that. And we'll give you some for cooking. Let's see. I've got this bo new book. The smelting book. Because we need it for smelting. I think. And just... Lagging. Stop. Not even that. Alright, well, maybe we'll just uh, cut for a second again because of all this terrible lag. And when <laughs> everything is done, I will be back again. Alright, so I am back again. Okay, and we have um, some more cooking to do here. We'll add those and those. And we'll take that. Okay. And I found some aluminum while I was out. So the only thing now that I really need to get is some lava because it's going to be essential to have lava. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to make some buckets here. And you can make clay buckets. I think this is really cool. I'm going to make five clay buckets. Put that up there. And were you closer? Yeah, you only had six left. I'm just going to take you out for a second to cook those. Because you have to cook the clay buckets. You can't just use them as is. You have to cook them. So while we're waiting for that to cook, I can... Let's see what I have for food. Let's, let's eat the bread instead. Do that. I'm going to put that in there. I'm actually going to grab everything up. I'm going to heal up my pickaxe here. And we can go find some lava. Hey guys, I am back and I went through a whole process of thought I was recording <laughs> and built this smeltery. So I'm just going to run through some basics on how to build the smeltery. I showed you how I built the uh, um, clay clay buckets to get the lava which you can see in the smeltery here and so the smeltery is just made up of these these bricks these seared bricks and other parts I can make another seared drain and another controller I believe so that you can see that so we have we have the if we do... oh, wrong one. Ha! So we take these seared bricks and we run around a piece of glass like this and we will get a seared tank. Like that. That's already out there. I'm actually not going to build that. Without the glass, you make a smeltery controller. And if you take out the two pieces like this, you make a smeltery drain. And if you have this setup right here, you have the casting table. That's how you make the casting table. And we'll take those out. The three seared bricks in this position will make a seared faucet. So that's how you get your smeltery. And you build it in a, th you start off with a three by three pattern and then you just build around it and you can get your, your smeltery. And once you have everything together in the proper, it'll start working like this, glowing a little bit, and you can add to it copper and the aluminum. I'm going to put, actually I'm going to put all the aluminum in there, and some more copper. We'll just fill it up. And you, you will get the molten copper and the molten aluminum brass. That is how you get your liquid materials <laughs> that you will use to make the items. As you can see, I have a copper pickaxe and a copper broadsword down in my inventory here because I went through the process of making them. So you will, I will grab one of these to show you how to create these up here and we will grab the shovel as well. So you will have to, I have the copper on the bottom down here. So what you want to do is you want to switch to the molten aluminum brass so that that's down below the copper. You, next, you just do that by just clicking on it. And come over here. You can drop 
this pickaxe head, and I'll have to show you how to get that. Drop it in like that, and you will get the cast that you need to work with. And we'll make this cast as well, because I didn't bring it out with me to do that. And now you can come back over to here, click on this, and click on the copper, so that's down on the bottom again. Click this, and you can make your copper tool rod. Which you don't actually need metal tool rods, you can use wood tool rods, but why not use a metal one if you can? And you can click this, and now we have a copper axe, and we'll get... Actually, we should get another tool rod as well while we're at it. Tool rod, this, and that in there. And we'll make the shovel head. Okay. Now, to get the heads, like this, the stone heads, you actually will come over, we'll put that back in here, we'll put the stone, and you'll grab your, your patterns, one of your patterns, and you'll throw it in your table, your part builder, with a piece of cobblestone, and you will get the, the stone axe head, or whatever head you're going for, that way. I'm going to throw that up in there. Um, yeah, that's, that's good enough. So now that we have these tools, we can come over to the tool station and we can make our copper tools. And that is how you make copper tools. So now we have full copper tools. Nice. So we actually are not able to mine iron with our basic copper pickaxe so in the next episode if you guys are enjoying please like and subscribe as always to continue watching but in the next episode I'm going to make iron tools so we're going to go through the process of finding and collecting iron tools so we can make iron tools so that we have better stuff to work with and then we can start really really doing some stuff I think in this in this mod pack there's so much to explore going up into the sky and exploring those stuff up in the sky and uh, finding a way to the nether and yeah so there's just there's so much to do and so much to explore and there's so many creatures to fight obviously you can see them all up in the corner there the skeleton the zombie the spiders the Endermen, the different creepers. There's a couple different creepers in there that I can see. And yeah, we'll just, we'll do that. So yeah, again, if you're enjoying, please like and subscribe for more. And thank you guys for watching.